Hello everyone and welcome to Unit 55 of Oxford Word Skills Intermediate Book, the orange covered one. In this one we're going to talk about finances. Stay with me, make sure that you subscribe. The previous lessons are all in the related playlist, just click on it if you haven't watched the other ones. Stay with me, let's do this together. The first collocation is to raise capital. Have you heard this before? If you raise capital, it means that you need to put together the money that you need to start a business that's raising capital, getting investment from other people or from somewhere, basically, so that you can collect the money that you need to start a business or something like that. That is raising capital. In this sense, the word capital means investment or basically the money that you need to start a business. Annual turnover. It refers to the profit that your company makes um, each year because of selling the goods and the products that your company has. That's uh, annual turnover. Now, let me give you an example. Um, we were quite happy today in the company and we celebrated because after our, the reports and the analysis came in, we realized that the annual turnover was more than we expected. It means the profit that we had was pretty much more than what we expected. Another useful phrase is operating costs. Operating. The word, oper it comes from the word operate and operation, operating costs. And um, up, up to operate means to go ahead and keep doing something. So you can guess that the operating costs of a business would refer to the expenses of that business, the money that the business owner has to spend so that the business keeps running as a business. That's the operating uh, costs. For example, I can say in the first year, if we cannot make as much money as the operating costs, then we might actually go broke and we cannot continue um, surviving as a business anymore. Inflation. It refers to um, the rise of the prices of services and goods in a um, country. That's inflation. For example, I can say the inflation is at 3% right now. And in my country, the inflation keeps getting bigger and bigger, goes higher and higher. Your company will make pre-tax profit. The profit is the amount of money that your company has made and you can keep that money. You have paid the expenses and that is the money that is left from uh, the effort that you've put in your, into your business. That is the profit that you have made. Now, if we say that it's pre-tax, it means that um, you should also pay some amount of money as tax. And this amount of money is pre-tax. The, the tax money has not been paid out of it. So um, that's pre-tax profit. In a business, cash flow refers to uh, the money that goes in and outside of a business. That is cash flow. So if we say that a company has cash flow problems, it basically means that a more amount of money goes out of the business than it comes in. And that's a cash flow problem. Um, our competitor company is out of business because of, because of cash flow problems. If you need a bank loan, that's when the bank actually gives you some money so that you can take care of some stuff that you don't have the money for at the moment, then you take out a loan. Take out a loan. That is the verb that you have to use with it. Take out a loan and then you have to pay it back. If I have to, and if I cannot uh, solve the cash flow problems, I will have to take out a loan to tackle the issues at hand. Now, when you take out a loan, you will have to pay more money to the bank, maybe 1%, 2%, um, based on the plan, according to which the loan has been given to you, um, the bank decides, how much money you'll have to pay back to the bank eventually once you're settling your debt with the bank and you normally have to pay more than the money that you received normally it's that way that uh you know like one percent of interest that that one percent of money that you basically have to pay more is called interest that the loan interest 
Now I want to give you four words that have similar meanings when you're talking about the trends, economic trends. You can use go up, rise, increase, or grow. For example, you can say prices have risen by 10%. If you put any of these words in the same place, it normally works out because they bear similar meanings and there's no difference. Now, the opposite trend would be like to go down or fall or drop. For, in for instance, interest rates fell last month. Now, you can talk about stability by using phrases remain unchanged or stable. For instance, prices have remained uh, unchanged or they have remained stable over the past couple of years. It means that there has not been any obvious change. They're basically in the same range all the time. Now, if a trend peaks, it means that it has reached the highest level possible. That's peaking. For instance, I can say the sales peaked in the third quarter. And basically, third quarter is from July to September. Now, the last word that I want to tell you about is the word fluctuate, which is really practical and useful for describing trends. You have noticed that in a lot of charts, you see trends that are that normally and constantly go up and down during a period of time, you know. So there's constant fluctuation in this case. It means that there is constant um, trend of going up, coming down, going up, coming down. That is fluctuation. Or in other words, we say uh, it has been fluctuating. That's another way of putting it. Okay, now let's do some tests to make sure that we have learned the words we talked about. The company has a blank of 20 million. We're talking about the profit that a company uh, has had over a year. That is annual turnover. If you want to run a business, the first thing you need to do is to blank. Raise capital. I'm not going to take out that loan because of high blank rate right interest rate during the next couple of months our sales will blank we are really happy about it that's right our sales will peak okay guys thank you for watching this video i hope you learned some words and you can use these words in your speech or if you're writing a text or anything like that. Um, stay tuned for the next videos. They're coming up pretty soon. Make sure that you recommend us to your friends. Have a nice day or night. Take care.